Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to install these CPs or connector plates. These are used to tie modules together. Now let's say we're going to tie this 4 foot module to an 8 foot module. We're going to bring it all the way butted up against the 8 footer. We got lucky this time and these vertical tubes are lined up. But you may have to realign your vertical tube later on because you do want them lined up here. Um, so just another... Um, Another FYI is that you see how we butted this up against an eight foot module. We lost this entire space in the front of the eight foot module. So now you only have space for maybe a grill and a vertical drawer there or some, some skinny uh, trash drawer. So just be aware of that when, when planning out your island that you do lose space when you butt two modules up against each other somewhere. So now we'll go ahead and install these CPs or connector plates and show you how to uh, put them on to tie the modules together. So now we're going to butt these two modules up together and we're going to go ahead and clamp the back sides. You really want to make sure that these modules are real flush here. So we'll go ahead and clamp the back ones, the back tubes, so that these are nice and tight and sit flush. So now that we have our vertical tubes lined up, we'll go ahead and install the connector plate. You can just do one high, one low, as you'll see me do right now. Some people like to double up, put a couple screws in there. But you see how I'm putting it centered with the tubes? That's how you're going to want to install it. You want to put at least two or three screws in on each side. So now that we got our top one screwed in, we'll go ahead and mimic that down here. Um, if you want to know how high you want, you can put it. You could just put one connector plate and sit it right on top and just level it there. So now that we have our connector plates screwed in, we're going to go ahead and bend the sides in. Um, a couple of reasons. One is because we don't want someone injuring themselves hitting their, their eye on this. Uh, you want to bend it in. And then when you bend them in, it actually has, oh, um, adds more holding power. So we'll go ahead and use a hammer. You can start you know, bending it with your hands, but a hammer will do the trick as well. So we'll get it on both sides. And now we have our connector plates installed. Thank you.